Hey, this is Chef Dave, and today's tips are on root vegetables. There's a lot of root vegetables out there. There's parsnips, there's carrots, there's beets. Potatoes are known as tubers because they're not really grown as roots. They're actually grown on a continuous vine that's in the ground, but they're considered a root vegetable as well. The first thing I'm going to learn is basically peeling a carrot. I never peel my carrots unless I'm going to be putting them out like as an accrudite. So an accrudite is like a vegetable tray. So we're going to peel this one really quickly and make sure that your peeler is sharp so that you don't have to work that hard doing it. I just peeled this. Let's just get this over in the trash. And then to do sticks, you just kind of take this and you want to get to the carrot right about right where it starts to be the same thickness. And then you want to have a flat surface to cut on. So cut them in half. And there's your flat surface. And all that's left to do then is just cut them in half or into thirds and you have your sticks. Depending on how thick it is, you can only do twos to thirds, halves to thirds. So there's your carrot sticks. And if I'm going to use them in a stew or if I'm going to use them, say like in, um, say for vegetables like in the bottom of like a roast, I don't really peel them because the skin has nutrients in it and with the gravy it actually makes it look halfway decent. So I just cut these into small little pieces, just like that. Now, a potato is a little bit bigger and what I like to do is when I'm cutting these down, like say for sweet potato, I'm sorry, when I'm cutting these down for like baked potatoes, I don't, I just look for bad spots, make sure there's nothing in there and I put the potato into the oven just like this at 400 degrees. I don't salt it, I don't put it in foil. I lay it right on the rack and they come out perfect every time. And finally, if you're gonna use them for mashed potatoes, you're gonna peel them just like this. Almost there. And you wanna make sure that all the eyes, there's no eyes in there. And the important things about using these for mashed potatoes is you wanna make sure that they're all cut about the same size so they cook evenly and that is the most important thing to remember. So cut these into thirds here and then I'm going to cut these into thirds again and now these are ready to actually go in for mashed potatoes. So here's the, there are your quick tips on your root vegetables. Until next time, I'm Chef Dave and Cook Smart.